Hi dancers, I'm Greer. I'm the point two specialist here at Discount Dance Supply. Today I'm going to be talking to you about what to expect when you go in for a point shoe fitting and how to tell if your point shoes are the perfect fit. Helping me out today is my beautiful model Elise. She's going to be trying on the shoes today. So when you go in for a point shoe fitting, the first thing you want to be clear on is that your teacher gave you the sign off to start doing point. If you're a young dancer, you're going in for your first pair of shoes, this is something really important. Hopefully your teacher has assessed you and they've signed off that it's time for you to do point. The next thing you want to be clear on is if your teacher has told you any certain brands or styles that he or she wants to see you in. Um, another thing to be clear about is if there's something your studio does not allow. Certain places don't allow dancers to wear certain brands of shoes or they highly recommend that they do wear certain brands of shoes. So the more information you can bring to your fitter, the better. If your teacher has recommended a certain brand or style, that's always a good starting point. You also want to be clear about what kind of toe pads you're going to be wearing. You want to be fit with whatever pads you're going to be dancing with because that does change the fit of the shoe. So if your studio only wants you wearing light lamb's wool or a paper towel, that's going to change the fit as opposed to wearing like really thick gel pads. Another thing is it's helpful if you've come in a little bit warmed up, if you've done a couple relevés, maybe worked out with your TheraBand a little bit, so you're not just coming in totally cold. So expect your fitting to last for a while, especially if it's your first pair. It could last up to an hour. I've had that happen with dancers. Um, that doesn't mean that you, know, you, you won't find the perfect shoe. It just means that maybe it's taking more pairs of shoes to try on to find that exact right Cinderella perfect fit. Um, also be really vocal with your fitter just because something looks really beautiful if it's painful We can't tell so let us know if you're feeling certain pressure or pain in an area It might not always be super comfortable to be on point, but you don't want to feel any excruciating pain That's not a good sign So be really vocal with your fitter when he or she is asking you questions Tell them if something feels really great or if something feels really painful So I'm going to start with Elise here we're going to go through what it's like to have a fitting. So we've already assessed what her shoe size is. That's the first thing your fitter is going to ask you when she's grabbing shoes for you is what your street shoe size is because all the brands are sized totally different. So then she'll know where to start. So we've already started with that and then Elise already has on her toe pads for me. She's wearing um, ouch pouches by Bunheads. So she already has those on. That's what she wears when she's dancing. And so First, I'm gonna show you what it looks like to have shoes that are ill-fitting. This is what you don't want. So we're gonna start with that. So I always have the dancer put the shoes on herself. Um, some fitters put the shoes on for you. I prefer to have the dancer put them on so that she can really feel where it goes on her foot. And then I walk her through what to do after we put them on. So I usually soften the shoes a little bit when I take them out of the bag. I don't break them in or anything just to give them a little bit of flexibility when you're trying them on. Then I'm going to give them to the dancer. I'm going to tell her, at least put these on nice and straight like this, not twisted, or you're going to go up and melody twisted, okay? Okay, she's put on one foot. I'm going to have her put on the other. These I can already tell are too big. They're too long and they're too wide but I'm gonna have her demonstrate what these look like so you know what not to look for, what your shoes should not look like. Okay, so go ahead, face the bar stand in first position for me. Press over just on the platform of this foot, all the way up. Now, this is way too much satin to have back here. If I can put my finger back here, that means the shoe is way too long. I should only be able to pinch an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch back here on this shoe. So if I can do this, that means it's way too long. Go flat, even if I pull the drawstrings and tighten it, press over on that one again, there's still way too much room back here. I can also tell that this shoe is too wide for her because she's sinking into the shoe. She's not fully supported in this shoe. Okay, go flat, go ahead and take those off and let's try on something that actually fits. I'm making these, I'm pulling shoes that are not only shorter, but they're more narrow. So all ballet or all point shoes come in different lengths and different widths, usually different shanks as well. So there's a lot of different factors that go into finding the perfect shoe. So 
So don't be upset if the first few you try on don't work. Okay, Elise, let's try that one. That already looks a lot better. If a shoe goes on way too easy, that's not a good sign. That means it's too big. If she's really struggling to put the shoe on her foot, that's also not a good sign. It means it's too short or it's too narrow. Okay, stand up. Let's pull these drawstrings. You shouldn't depend on the drawstrings to make the shoes fit. That's just gonna tighten it a little bit on the sides here, but you shouldn't get shoes that are too big and only fit when you pull the drawstrings. That's not a good fit. Okay, go ahead and face the bar, stand in first. Perfect. Go ahead and press over on that foot for me. Beautiful. So I can see here that she only has about a quarter of an inch, so that's a pretty good fit right there. Go flat, press over on the other foot. Good girl. You always wanna make sure that your fitter is checking both feet because most people do have two different size feet and you can really tell in point shoes because they fit so snug. And point shoes should fit very snug. There should be no kind of growing room in those. Okay, go ahead, go all the way up and releve for me. Good. So what you wanna look for is to be nice and straight on releve. So she's not being pulled back. She's not pushing too far over the box. She's nice and straight in these. She's not twisting or pulling in any direction. If the shoe was too narrow, her foot would be trying to corkscrew into it, and her foot would be twisting away from the shank, making this a bad fit. Go flat. Stand in parallel, six position. Good, go up and releve. I always have the dancer go up in parallel, six position as well, and I kind of get behind her, because then I can really see if the width is correct. So if this isn't twisting or pulling in any direction, then it's not too narrow. And then if she's not sinking in the shoe, that means it's not too wide. Great, go ahead, go flat. The last thing I have a dancer do is stand in second position and grand plie. This is when your feet are at their widest, longest, most spread out. So it's okay for your toes to be right at the edge of the box, but it's not okay for them to be crunched up. Are your toes crunched or overlapping, Elise? Great, okay, go ahead. All right, and that is how a perfect fit should be. She should be fully supported, nothing pulling or twisting, not too much satin to pinch in the back, and when she's on releve, she should be right over that platform, perfectly balanced. All right, all right, dancers, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about point shoes, leave those in the comments below, and we'll definitely get an answer out to you. And if you wanna get a professional fitting from someone at Discount Dance, we have seven retail locations in Southern California, and the link to those are below also. We hope to see you guys again soon. Thank you again to my beautiful model, Elise, and thanks for watching, dancers.